If you're traveling and just have a GoPro camera and a phone, you can make awesome little action videos and upload them directly to social media. No computer is needed. In this video, you'll learn how to quickly and easily edit GoPro videos on the fly just using the Quick app on your phone. Here are some videos filmed with my GoPro Hero 9 camera and edited with the GoPro Quick app. Subscribe and click the bell notification icon if you want to be notified about how to generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot from YouTube. Here are the requirements to use the GoPro Quick app to edit GoPro videos. Go to the App Store or Google Play Store to download the GoPro Quick app. It says get the most out of your photos and videos no matter what phone or camera you captured them with. As you can see, I've installed the GoPro Quick app already. Immediately you can see all the videos that I've already created using the GoPro Quick app. Make sure you pair the app with your GoPro camera. You can control the GoPro camera using the GoPro Quick app. Click control your GoPro. Now it's connecting. It says GoPro wants to join the Wi-Fi network. Tap join. And now I can see a preview of myself on the screen. This means you can film yourself without holding the GoPro camera and operate the camera with the Quick app on your phone from far away. I tap view media. I can see all the media that I've taken with my GoPro camera. I can also manage auto upload. So tap manage auto upload. Auto upload is on. That means whenever I connect my GoPro to the Wi-Fi network, then all the video footage is automatically downloaded to the GoPro app. If you get the yearly subscription from GoPro, you'll be able to get unlimited cloud storage for all your files so you can back up from the app, the camera, or the web. You'll also be able to unlock the premium editing tools from the QuickPick app, get up to 50% off mounts, mods, protection, backpacks, etc., and no questions asked camera replacement. I'll place a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more. I tap the icon at the bottom right that I can see the videos that I've already uploaded to the QuickPick app and you can see all the different dates of, of the different footage. I can also upload more video footage just from my phone. If I tap phone, then I can select video footage from my phone. And if I tap edits, then I can edit the current videos that I've created using the GoPro Quick app. So now I'm going to tap on view media. And here's all the video footage that I've taken with my GoPro video camera. If I want to download any of this video footage, I just select the icon at top right, select the videos that I wish to download, do these three, then tap the arrow at the bottom. And it says some files already be downloaded. So I tap continue, tap got it. Now my video is being downloaded to the QuickPick app that's stored in the cloud. So then I can create my video with these video clips. While these clips are being downloaded, just keep in mind to make these video clips when you're shooting the videos very short, so they're easy and quick to download. The more clips that you shoot with your GoPro camera will take longer to download all those clips. Okay, I've downloaded all the clips. Uh, tap View Media. And here you can see the three clips that are being downloaded. In this app, you can see all the videos that I've already downloaded. I can also add more videos, like from my phone. If I tap the phone, then I can upload videos in my camera library. If I tap edits, then I can edit the videos that I've already created. If I want to edit any of these video clips before I create the actual video, I can just tap the video, tap the pencil icon. I can clip the clip. I can frame it. So I can do fit, horizon. I could rotate it. I can flip it, flip it the other way. I can do filters, I've got uh, style, all these different filters I can add to the clip. If I want to speed up the clip, I just tap speed, then it says tap blue button to start and drag the timeline to create a section. I can do one time, two times, four times, even six times. Tap the X, I tap adjust, I can do auto, I can do exposure. Contrast, Vibrance, Temperature, Shadows, 
and highlights. So you've got quite a few tools to edit a particular video clip. So that's the editing feature. If I go back, if I tap the save a frame, I can save a frame. If I tap the next icon, then I can cho choose different transitions. I can choose different themes. I can also choose different music. So I tap the music, summer, epic, night, all these different ones. I tap the next icon. Then I can choose different highlights. So I play it. Then I can just tap the highlight and create highlights for that particular video. So this will highlight different stages of the video. If I don't want to use this video clip, I can just tap the trash icon. If I want to save this video to my photo library, just tap the icon at the top here and tap save to photos, or I could share it with the media. So I can share it on Instagram. So it's sharing, I can share it as a story or as a feed, sharing to Facebook. So you have to link that up to Facebook. I can do it to YouTube. If I tap the three dots, then I can airdrop it, I can share it via messages, mail, etc., or I can copy it and share it elsewhere. Now I'm going to create a video out of three video clips. So just tap the icon on the top right, then I can choose a date of all the video clips that I took, tap the box, it automatically checks them. If I uncheck that, I can also just tap the different video clips. So one, two, three. Then I can go down to the bottom and tap the left icon here. Then tap create new event. Adding to mural. One to three items added. Give it a title. This will be test. Save details. And here's my video that created out of the three clips so it can be really fast. So if you have 40 video clips, you can just quickly download them on your phone to the cloud and then quickly create that video within a few minutes. So if I tap the video, then I can do the same as before. I can edit it, uh, edit the clips, frame it, add filters, speed it up, slow it down, adjust, and also add stickers. If I tap these three dots on the video, I can edit the title and date, or I can delete the event. If I want to add more to it, and just tap the icon at the bottom right, then I can add more videos from my phone. If I want to save it to photos, just tap the arrow icon at the top, and I can save it to my photos or share it on media. And also I can create a share link. If I want to edit the video clips on the timeline, tap this icon and here are all the different video clips. Those has a GoPro logo on the last video clip. So if you want to disable that, just tap the GoPro icon, tap disable and tap done. After you've edited your video, you can just tap save. And now it's saving my video. Now it's saved, tap got it. Here's my edited video. So if I want to edit it, I can just tap the video, tap the pencil icon again, then I can uh, edit it with clips, frames, filters, speed, adjust, and stickers. If I tap the next icon, I can save a frame. If I tap the timeline icon, then I've got all the clips of the video there. So I just select the clip, I can uh, trim the clip, I can highlight. So as the video plays, I can just tap the different highlights where I want GoPro to highlight a particular scene in the video. And when that's done, just tap the check icon. And I got frames, so I can frame it. I got fit horizon, I can rotate it, flip it flip a different way, or I can go reset. Then I've got the different filters as I showed you previously. Also adjust the speed. I can also adjust the volume. I can mute, mix, boost. Then I can also add text. So I just tap text, then add some text. I can also adjust it, just tap adjust. Got auto adjust, exposure, contrast, Vibrance, temperature control, shadows, highlights. And once you check one of these, just tap the check mark. And once you've done everything, just tap done. 
once you've made your edits, you just want to tap save to resave the video that you've altered. Tap save. And now we're resaving my video. Here are a few tips to keep in mind when editing your GoPro video clips using the Quick App. Shoot short clips so they don't take so long to download. Shoot in a high definition like 4K or 5K so they look really good when uploaded to YouTube or Instagram. Choose music that fits the story of your video. So the Quick Pick app will allow you to import photos and videos from your phone, GoPro or any other camera. Automatically highlight video clips in seconds. Take control with powerful, simple editing tools such as auto-syncing edits to the music, choosing from dozens of filters, trimming, color, crop, changing video speed with just a tap. Use your phone as a remote control for your GoPro camera plus transfer shots wirelessly to your phone for easy sharing. If you want to learn five ways to shoot cinematic video footage using your GoPro Hero 9, watch the video on the screen right now.